Good afternoon, and welcome to the Cathedral of St. Patrick of the Catholic Church. One of the most impressive moments is first when the graduates are walking down the aisles themselves. Graduation ceremony of Cardinal Hayes Memorial High School. And then, a few moments after them, all the graduates who had come to celebrate their 50th anniversary start walking down the aisle. Men of Hayes, now you must leave. Young men, and create your own futures, your own lives, your own response to the wisdom of the ages. May you be able to offer to God, once again, in St. Patrick's Cathedral, in the year 2048, a life filled with faith, accomplishment, service, and prayer. Rise up, O men of haze, have done with handsome things. Give heart and soul and mind and strength to serve the King of Kings. From the first moment that they come in as freshmen, we call them gentlemen because that is what we expect them to be at Hayes. In a school in the South Bronx, we have no metal detectors, no guards. We have gentlemen who go to school with respect for each other, for the building, for the teachers. And so we refer to them as gentlemen of Hayes. When I came here to Cardinal Hayes High School, I was awestruck by the sheer size of the school, when a large number of students, the enormous size of the faculty, and I was most impressed at the organization and how everything went so smoothly. I couldn't imagine that many young men and that many faculty members uh, all finding their way to their rooms and classes and getting off to an orderly start. something that is underlying everything that we do here, something that is foundational, something that is the reason for our existence is, is the whole area of religious education. It's a spirit that has to be uh, part of everything that everyone says and does here. These are going to be men of the church, that they need to be developed in their faith, that they need to understand that God loves them, God has a place for them, and God really and truly wants them to make the best and the wisest of decisions in their life. I believe that the students that we have at Cardinal Hayes come to us seeking a solid educational foundation, a strong education uh, to make them viable in the competitive world that they live in. Once they're out in the real world, they find that what they got here at Cardinal Hayes is indispensable to their lives and indispensable to the success that they might have. It's longer tests. We want to make sure that we achieve excellence before the June Regents. We can do that. Regents. Then I bring down the N. And the negative 29, I'm going to say add 30. 30. And then subtract 1. Good. Yes, it is. We do say here yes. provide a broad spectrum yes. of academic That's disciplines. We have a math You're department, so we go from pre algebra from courses all the way through to calculus. Again, our science department, also our region's courses as well in biology, chemistry, and physics. 
you know, our other departments of English, history, fine arts. The challenge, of course, in any school is to have all of our faculty see that their goal is to work for the good of each and every individual student, not just in their particular discipline to make them successful, but to go about making the students successful in all disciplines and also even in any of the other activities they may get involved in. City football team may exit. Let's give them a hand. Never measure the success of our athletic teams in the win and loss column. We measured in what are the young men getting out of it? By the commitment, the dedication, the loyalty to themselves, to their teammates, to their school, and the support of one another. But sports gives us such an opportunity to develop uh, the young men. Sometimes if there's a lot of pressure to win, sometimes the values can get pushed under the table and people put winning as the number one priority. And that's something that we have never done here at Cardinal Hayes High School. The individual student is what we're concerned in, his growth and development, and no young man is hurt in the athletic program. This is the season we celebrate. This is the reason we sing. Born in a major in Bethlehem, Jesus the Savior, the King. This is the song to always sing. This is the news that we bring. Talk to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive our King. This is the season we celebrate. This is the reason we sing. Born in a major in Bethlehem, Jesus the Savior. It's like learning, you never stop learning, and if you do, it's like you die in a way. So for me, I could say that mentally I matured in a sense, you know, found out who were my good friends, uh, basically had, had a great experience. I feel that I, I just have dreams, I just want to go as far as I can, and I feel I, I just want to continue to go to college, get my degree, get my majors, and just go as far as I possibly can in my life. These four years have been a tremendous experience. I've learned things that I never thought in my life I was going to learn. Um, every day from school, I just, I want to go to school. It's not I want to tell my parents I have a stomachache or something like it was in elementary school. I want to go to school. I feel happy we're going to Hayes because this is a school that all my friends are here. I have a good relationship with all the teachers. It's just an excellent opportunity for a young man to go to Hayes. Hayes gave me the leadership qualities that I wanted and that I matured more mentally and emotionally as a man. So they're preparing me more for the real world. What is going to happen for 2000 and beyond? Well certainly we are beginning to put together plans for celebrating our 60th anniversary of the school. The Regents requirements, especially for science and for math and for technology, are becoming increasingly important and uh, something that is going to be essential for uh, anybody's future. So as we're teaching students, I think our next challenge is teaching our teachers and helping them to understand how and what is their role in a classroom into the 21st century. There's a tremendous interest and many, many questions about what we're doing as far as uh, the computers and the technology in, in our education. The computers, I think, have to go into every single classroom and a teacher has to be able to be comfortable with the computer and helping the students to realize that research is part of the, the game, that uh, getting away from print material is something also that we have to become comfortable with. And it's a tool.
and that's basically what we uh, are, are trying to move into into the 21st century how to use all of these marvelous marvelous tools of the modern age in order to become more educated people I also like the discipline that's here my son needs a lot of discipline and a lot of guidance and he seems to be getting that here and this year has done better than he did last year and I hope he keeps doing the same my son says it's a tough school and um, it's good, it needs to be tough. Academically, he was behind in the public school and he just is so surprised the big difference coming here to a Catholic school. He's, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's the same child. What they're able to get out of him, you know, he was not able, they were not able to get out of him in the public school. It's like a hundred degree turnaround, quite frankly. This picture here is the first championship of Cardinal Hayes High School basketball team and won the city championship. And, and these were the fellows on the first team. This picture here is an old picture of a fellow named Jerry Hastings. They seem to think he was the best football player Hayes ever had. Mr. Mario Ranko, the first astronaut, we're very proud of him. And he's a fine, fine gentleman, like most Hayes men are. I was doing a spacewalk, and I, I was looking out into space. I, I, after I had all of these thoughts and emotions uh, of God and country, it turned rather comedic. And, and the, the final thought I had was, what is a kid from the Bronx doing way up here? And, and so it, it, it connected right back to home. I once said to a group of people at a banquet, I mean, I'm a Times man and I'm a Yale man, but before I was any of that, I was a Hayes man. And you got to remember that, that if it wasn't for a place like Hayes, a lot of the things that happened in our life after we left Hayes wouldn't have happened. The bulk of my affection for Cardinal Hayes is, I think, a, a fine appreciation for the quality of education, the dedication of the people that was there. So it was the education. I think I could pick out a Hayes man whether I was in Germany for the, in the service or standing here in this trading room. And there are people here in this trading room that are Hayes graduates. They're honest. They have uh, great moral fiber, which has been taught to them. Uh, they're a happy group of people. Uh, I'm a happy person. I'm happy with my lot in life. And I thank Hayes for, for what they had to do with where I am in this life. So it's easy for me to pick out a Hayes man. Smile. <laughs> Rise up, oh I think Cardinal Hayes High School must continue to be a beacon here in the South Bronx. It must never go back on, on, on its principles, on its values, on its goals, on its directions, but continue religious formation and academic excellence in this part of the city of New York. <laughs>